please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. Dave Williams, stockbroker here with today's video, the Kawasaki Concourse 14. Actually, a daily driver that a sensible stockbroker might ride. Various places on the web have this bike classed as a sport touring bike. I don't think so. To me, a sport touring bike is more like a CBR 1100 or a VFR. But I did see a shootout online with this bike and an FJ, Yamaha FJ, and a Honda ST. To me, those are touring bikes, not sport touring bikes. Particularly when you're gonna put it in a class with a Honda ST, and then you have the CBR 1100 and you have a VFR, definitely those two bikes put the sport in touring. However, this bike does appear sprightly. It's based on the Ninja ZX14 platform and it's surprisingly adjustable. Here's a preview. My name is Dave Moss. For over 20 years now, I've been helping motorcycle riders all over the world with suspension tuning, chassis setup, and tire wear on their street bikes. This is Two Clicks Out. When I'm on long, wide, coming off the, I don't know if you're from any area. I am. Carquinez Bridge. Sure. It's got those little rolls, and mm -hmm. it's starting to do this bit, right? It was set up for another rider. I just bought this 3,000 miles ago. It's got 20,000 on it right now. Do you know if the forks or the shock were ever serviced? But there were, I do not know. Yeah, okay. Not Would you know. leave your engine oil in 20,000 miles? No. No. So there's a perspective there, yeah, right? Yeah. That suspension oil is going to wear out in okay. a similar rate okay. to engine oil. So All it's right. got to be replaced. Your average is about 6,000. You don't want to push it more than 10. Okay. We're at 20. Well, yeah, and so, hopefully they did it, but yeah, you don't know. All bets are off. Yeah. If I have to shut everything because it's doing this, it was never done. Okay. Now we know that you need to get it done. If it has been done and we're somewhere in the middle of adjustment, okay. all right, well, you've got some time. So the back is substantially stiffer than the front. How much luggage do you carry in those boxes? Right now, I've just got my helmet on, which I would normally mm -hmm. wear, and really a real light bag, just a little okay. bare essentials. Do you ever ride two up? Rarely, I'm hoping my wife will ride, but right now and she's get her a own no. bike. Right now she's a no, yeah. How often does she go on the back? Three times a year? Yeah. Okay. Do you have your phone with you? Yeah. Because when we're done with settings here, I'm going to give you settings for two up. Okay. That Great. you can change two. Yeah. And then she's safe. Okay. So they give you Chinese hand torture, and you can only do it like this. Okay. So one of the parts that's very helpful that they actually do is it clicks. So you have to figure out where it clicks. So one. So it comes down. The tire flexes. Now it comes up, the tire bounces back up, the shock comes up, and you get your weave. Okay. Yeah, or hit a bump or whatever, right? And that's the other part of adding to the weave, okay. is that rebound in the back was not set at all compared to the front. Okay. Hits the front, and the front's very stable and goes, no, go away. Gotcha. All right. And the front keeps pushing it back. Okay. So your rebound screw is down there. Catch the full video at DaveMossTuning.com.